and we go five units down. Well, not, what letter is that? That's our k value, and it's down, so k is negative five. Everything else will disappear in the equation. So we get f of 4x minus 5. I will ask you to do something like that on the test. Okay. Just if you've done these things, what are the values of a, b, h, and k? Next one, we do a vertical stretch by a factor of 3 fifths. Reflect in the y-axis and a horizontal translation two units left. Okay. Vertical stretch by 3 fifths. So A is three fifths. It doesn't change, right? Only B changes. A reflection in the y axis. So the y axis is this. We're changing our x values. So what's our B value? Negative one, right? Because it's a reflection. So B is negative one. Horizontal translation, translation, two units to the left. So that is h equals negative two. All right. Then we just plug it all into this formula. Three fifths f negative one bracket x plus two no k value. Is that okay? Be able to convert words into a formula for your test on Monday. All right, we're going to go down to this and we're going to sketch this. Okay. So <clears throat> here's our function. Here is what we've done to it f of 1 half x plus 3 minus 8. How does that? How does this differ than this? Just looking at it, what is there's something slightly different about it? Mm, well, I could have written it like this. I mean, you're right. I could have written it like. Ugh. I could have done that, right? There's something else that's different. Yes, the one half is in the bracket. See here, the B value is separate. You want to make your function that I give you. How are we going to do that? Yes, yeah, factor out the one half. Know how to do this for your test. I guarantee I'm going to ask you this. So, I'm going to factor out one half. Now, what happens to the three? What does it turn into when you factor out a half? It turns into six, right? When you're factoring something out, even if you're doing regular factoring, so if I'm 2x minus 4 and I factor out a 2, you're left with x minus 2, right? Because what you do, the number you take out, you're actually dividing these by that number. So if you pull out a one half and you divide three by a half, how do you divide fractions? You flip the denominator, right? And multiply like that, right? So then you get six. And you can always check once you've done it, just multiply the one half back in. Do you get this? Six times a half is three. So you can always check it that way. Uh, oh, I got the minus eight on the outside. Okay. And you can see, in the original, it looks like we've gone three units to the left, the way it's written there. But in reality, we've gone what? Six units to the left. So our A, our B, our H, and our K. A is one, doesn't do anything. B is one half, which means what? Horizontal stretch by two. H. 
What is h? Negative 6, so we've gone left. And k is minus 8, so we've gone down. So now we just have to sketch the graph. What's the order? What do you do first? Do your stretches. You do your A's and your B's. A, it's 1, so it doesn't do anything. So B, horizontal stretch by 2. Multiply all the X values by 2. So we're at negative 3 for this one times 2 goes to negative 6. 2 goes to negative 4 is the same. Uh, 3 goes to 6. Four goes to eight. So there's the stretch. We pulled it apart. It looks like it's been stretched. It's a good thing. And then we have to go six left and eight down. Oh, excuse me. Mm. So we can do those together. Six left, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're off the page, and eight down. One, two. Seven, eight, somewhere in there. Six left. There's your final graph, There's something approximating that. When we do it, we don't have to draw like each step. Nope, you just have to give me the final graph. I'll probably, if it's a short answer or something, I'll ask, what have you done? But if, if you're sketch, if I'm just asking for the graph, just give me the final graph. Is that okay? Any questions? All right. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. So if I gave you something like y is equal to 2 root. 3x minus 12 plus 5. If I gave you that and I said we started with root x, okay? So I want to know a, b, h, and k. What's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to factor out a 3 from the inside here. So you're going to rewrite it as 2 root 3x minus 4 plus 5. And now you know A, B, H, and K. Okay? So always make it look like this formula right here. That's your go-to. You want that B separated. I mean, this is right, but it's a bit of an illusion in terms of what the actual H value is. Okay? Anything else? Yeah. All right. Uh, I would like you to do finish number one. Finish three. Do four A to D, and number six, please. If we haven't. 